uh, from where you guys operate in this Indian uh, business environment, do you think enough has been done on the policy part which has been done on that count? And please do not be uh, diplomatic, uh, you can speak your mind. And uh, so, so has enough been done? Also, please mind you, someone sitting on the next to you is the one who's going to buy a lot of electricity that you generate. <laughs> so it's a, but the question still stands. Uh, has enough been done from a policy perspective? Okay. Uh, see, first of all, Utpal, we are very excited to be part of this journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. The journey on which India has started. Now, if you tell me that enough has been done, so I would say at least uh, what I'm seeing in last few years, certainly enough has been done, but more is required to be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we, we have seen this entire, I've been in this sector for 20 years. Mm -hmm. I have seen the entire power sector going. I, one thing which I always observe is that we have always been followers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether it was the gas journey, the coal journey, whatever we did, we were always the follower. This is the first time when I'm seeing our country playing on the front foot. All right. Okay. That's, that's so green hydrogen, which ma'am also raised, certainly would play a major role in our goal towards like, you know, to 2070 goal of net zero. Mm -hmm. And we made the right noise at the right time. You know, mm -hmm. we were the first one to bring it out, everything. But now there is a lot of it which is required, okay, to make it affordable, mm -hmm. the infrastructure required. For that, I'm, I'm hopeful that government would come out with more policies, more directives to make that happen. For someone like a Petronas, you're a state-owned company at the end of the day. Uh, but also, uh, uh, given there's a huge amount of revenue come from there, you also need to plan this for, it also has a, uh, there's, a there's a sovereign interest involved there as well. Uh, but, and you do businesses in different parts of the world uh, as Petronas. Uh, how has Indian experience been for you, apart from the obviously you said that in, something has been done, more needs to be done and stuff and all of that. But realistically speaking, have we absolutely uh, crossed the, the debate of technology has already been settled. So it's not about that, oh, so, so much of green comes into the grid, then grid will become very uneven and stuff and all of that. There have been issues here and there, but larger Indian grid perhaps is the first is the only grid anywhere in the world of such scale to be a one unified grid. Nowhere else in the world this is being tried anywhere else. Uh, but having said that, uh, where do you rate India in the scheme of things for you? Uh, Utpal, perhaps that answer would have to be given by someone from Petronas. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I represent Amplus. Uh -huh. But I can say one thing, like, uh, so as far as Amplus is concerned, when Petronas came in, we were at 300. Uh, megawatts three years back. Mm -hmm. We are today about 1200 uh, megawatts. Mm -hmm. So there is a good amount of growth they have seen. And uh, the kind of business we have got, that has drawn a lot of interest from Petronas towards India. Mm -hmm. uh, like I was saying, and it's there in media that we have already signed two MOUs uh, for green hydrogen facility uh, in India. Uh, Petronas would you like to give a size of it at least? It's uh, 750 kPTA uh, each. I was talking value terms. I just wanted this room to understand the kind of investment that numbers that you're talking about. Well, it's it's there in the the MOU has been signed and it's a billion dollar project. Right. Yeah, each project is billion precisely dollar. my point. So that's yeah. the kind of so, numbers. Yeah, but but this is this is something they have done on their part in the sense to show that okay we are interested. Mm -hmm. We understand India as a country provides us this opportunity because one is. We have got solar, we have got wind, mm -hmm. both are complementary in nature in terms of generation, mm -hmm. which helps, uh, you know, to a large extent to meet the RTC requirement, to top it up with uh, the government policies, the storage, etc. Uh, the 100% RTC at an affordable rate is possible today in this country. Okay, So all those things are there. But now, a lot of others suppose, because the one problem with power sector which we always know is this concurrent nature. While at the central level, a lot of things are there. They have been promised, they have been notified. But we see the implementation at the state level still lagging behind. Mm -hmm. And maybe the government will have to, while well, we are awaiting for the new policy and regulations to come out. But from our side as a private developer, I can just request that government has to take cognizance of this fact. Because all these policies then otherwise would maybe remain on paper because if we don't get those benefits ultimately at the state level. 